just dying. Tonight's stream is probably not gonna be very long, but it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> Hi, chat. <laughs> How is everyone? I missed you guys. <laughs> I have no problem getting really close because I just brush my teeth. <laughs> Do you guys smell them? <laughs> Minty fresh breath. <laughs> I I woke up from a nap not long ago, so I. I brush my teeth to make sure that I don't have that sleepy morning breath when I give you guys puppy kisses. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Has it been late? Oh yeah. From last stream. It's okay. I can buy you guys a gun if you want. <laughs> By the way, I made that post about putting nerds on their place. Like, a little bit more than an hour ago. And my DMs keep blowing up. I woke up so confused. Like, what the fuck is going on with my Twitter? <laughs> and then I realized what I posted. Literally moments before going to sleep. Of course I didn't remember. Because I fell asleep like 10 minutes after I posted that. And I wake up and all of my DMs are, Hey, you can put me in my place. Blah, blah, blah. There's so many now. <laughs> you guys are such degenerates. <clears throat> Bunch of perverted nerds, that's what you are. <laughs> Hi Kirby, welcome, welcome, welcome. Can I, can I take a moment and just say hi to you guys before I start yapping away? Cause, um, otherwise I'm gonna miss <laughs> things. Hi Coffee. Hi Rose. Hi Bryce. Welcome. Hi Salty. Hi Goop. Hi Mike. Hi Mother Retreat Feet. Hi. Hi Eli. <clears throat> Hi Kobe. Hi Lauren. Hi Matt. It really do the ASMR, but I want my frying pan to be the whole thing. <laughs> My clothes aren't open right now, so you just take what you can get, okay? We got the good thing going on. We do today. <clears throat> I actually showered after the gym today, but my room's been in the high 80s all day, so it's I've been sweating it up. Mm. I <laughs> I took a nap with the with the fan pointed directly at me, and it's actually so fucking loud, my fan, I mean, that I had to turn it off for the stream. Otherwise, you guys probably would not be able to hear me very well. <laughs> I totally didn't DM you or anything. I mean, I asked for it. I just forgot about it. I woke up like, wow, that's a lot of nerds. <laughs> mm. Hi Molly, welcome. Hi Kai. Mm. Salted coffee? What's the issue? Mm. No, there's no issue. I'm happy. <laughs> but that original video that I quoted was so fucking funny. <laughs> She sounds like, she sounds like me in middle school. Why does she? <laughs> Why is she, as a grown woman, filming herself shit-talking nerds? <laughs> She's... <laughs> She's far too red-pilled. She's far too gone. I don't know. I. Uh... <laughs> I refuse to believe that some people like that are like are actually real. But then I watch reality TV and you just can't script some of that shit. 
people say a lot of stupid shit and I just don't think that a room full of people sat down and wrote those moments you know like reality TV gets a lot of a lot of shit for being scripted but there are some moments there that are just so fucking stupid that I guarantee you they could never be scripted <laughs> what? Was that? what did I do? was that to cool me down? It was pretty hot here. Let me... Let me take... <gasps> Cozy! Hello, <coughs> 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 bloody. <coughs> so I just drink some right now. Also, not doing bongs, babe? Why not doing bongs? <coughs> Don't tell me what to do. Smoking big doinks today. Big doinks. Mm. Mm. Um. Oh yeah, my bad. I'm just, mm. I'm just catching up to chat. So, um, if there's anyone here being mm, fucking weird, I'm gonna ban you. Like, in tax connoisseur. Peace out, dude. <clears throat> I do appreciate a little bit of trolling, but you gotta have some substance, man. You gotta be funny. Oh, speaking of trolling, I did wanna address something really quick before we get started with uh, stream and all the other subjects. No. Oh, did I see last Monday night, raw? No. I forgot. Can you guys believe that? I actually forgot about Monday Night Raw. I've been so busy with like being a member I guess I <laughs> I, re I should catch up to Monday Night Raw ah, I forgot How can I forget I really wanted to chat about it But I have so many other things to chat about Okay The motive from Raw Dog Esper No you can't do that E papo misterioso Welcome Como estas? Como estas? Oh we're gonna Yeah not funny only weird Yeah if you're gonna be weird, there's nothing wrong with like a, a quirked up weirdo, right? I love weirdos, but like you gotta be funny. Okay, okay. Uh, I need to catch up the redeem, so I'm gonna start grinding the sweet right here. Wow. What? <laughs> With grass, it's the law. Those who touch grass extensively cannot be a beetover. Mm, I don't. I. I mean, I am a beetover. I don't want to be. I don't want to put myself in like a like a. I don't want to think that I'm better than other beetovers because I don't really claim the title beetover because I am a beetover. But I feel like compared to. A lot of other VTubers, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like the, 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 the black sheep because I feel like most VTubers that are currently VTubing were inspired by other VTubers. Okay, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna grind the butt now, so maybe you'll hear some satisfying crunches next to your ear. Um. Right, but the reason I started beetling was because I didn't 
want to get recognized by my government job uh, and I jumped into it uh, I think towards the middle of the pandemic in 2020 sometime and I jumped into it not because I was watching Beatovers but because I was watching IRL streamers um, mostly uh, mostly uh, quote unquote Beatovers or like cannabis enthusiasts <clears throat> and I really like being in their communities and so it got lonely because there's only so like there's only so much that you can do as a viewer when you're in someone else's community, right? Like there were times where I wanted to uh, like smoke and hang out with with uh, my favorite streamers, and they just weren't around or streaming, and I was like, damn. Well, if I streamed myself, then I could make my own friends and community, and then I would, wouldn't feel so lonely. <laughs> and that's the reason I mainly started jumping into B2, and it wasn't because any other B2 inspired me. But now that I am in this uh, scene, I do actually look at other Beatovers for inspiration uh, and ideas. It's nice to know what my peers are doing uh, and it's really cool seeing how innovative and creative other Beatovers uh, are. So I would say that I'm, I'm a fan now I guess. <laughs> But um, when I jumped into VTubing, I, I felt really left out because I was just not familiar with the mainstream VTubers, the culture, any of those things. And if I'm being honest, I still feel like I'm not fully integrated in VTuber culture or the communities because um, I, don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. No, I like. I like um. I I I. I, I like being able to like have my my freedom and. Uh, <laughs> I want. I finished grinding, by the way. I have it. So, we're gonna take our first bone rip. Hi, Keen. Have a nice sheesh. Thank you, thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Oh. Reject normality, embrace stinky demon dog. <laughs> Reject moaning, embrace puppy sounds. <laughs> thank you for the resub, Kana. Welcome. Bop, bop. Wait, B is a fad? Wait, who said that? <clears throat> Illegal beat will confirmed. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time mm, since I'm Mexican. <laughs> ¿Qué le pasa a la roca? Ya no aparece del fondo. Ese no era la roca. No mames. Era Randy Orton. Ya estaba en mi cuarto. Ahorita estamos en otro cuarto. Um, um, um. You didn't finish grinding because you didn't grind me yet. I would eat you up. Even though you guys are probably really salty. Why is my nipple? How? But, it, yeah. Uh, now I have to catch up to Monday Night Raw. Uh, do you guys know why I have been watching? The reason why I missed also on Monday Night Raw is because um, I've been watching Perfect Match too. <laughs> and I 
really want to watch some of those shows with you guys. Would you... Would you guys still come hang out with me? If I did a reality TV reaction stream? Actually, don't answer that. But I want to do it. <laughs> Whether people come or not, I'm gonna do it. Because that's how I've been. I'll be going on about my streaming anyway. <laughs> if I wanna do it, I do it, and as long as I have my fun, it's not- it's, it never seems like a waste or a bad stream, I guess. Because um, there are definitely people that uh, get really comfortable doing a specific thing for stream and all of their streams end up being the same kind of like uh, when when I um, like and I understand that because if you're streaming a certain thing for months like for example you're playing a specific game <coughs> or doing a certain category that's what your your regular audience expects out of you. But I've noticed that a lot of streamers and my peers used to get a little bit stressed out about their viewership and numbers because a new game came out and they wanted to play it. But you know, they usually do I don't know, uh, Call of Duty, or ASMR, or, um, League of Legends every day for, like, four hours. So when they do switch to something else, you know, people that are not used to that type of content tune out, <clears throat> and it makes that streamer feel like shit, but, um, I think that's just because... I think that's normal, honestly. And it sucks that it makes people feel like that. But I think they should go about streaming, doing whatever they want, even if the numbers tank. Because once they, they try to stick to one thing and make that their whole thing, it becomes... It, it, they kind of put themselves in a box and trust me I understand like comparing your streams and performance and you know of course that as a creator you're just going to stick with whatever um, you succeed on the most but um, I don't I don't want to um, put like number goals and viewership over me having fun. <laughs> to, not, to, not to sound selfish or anything. I mean, I care about what you guys like too. <laughs> but I think if I ultimately have fun doing what I want to do, we're going to spend a lot more time together in the long run. <laughs> Being a one game streamer I think is a great mistake and doing that just it's up for an audience crash. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I I want to Yeah, well I want to um do different content in between my ASMR streams, but I really I my problem is that I don't have ASMR burnout because I really enjoy doing this type of sessions <laughs> and streams so I never really feel the need to like want to do something entirely different but when I do um, um, when I do um, streams that are not ASMR oriented or similar to my usual content I would like to organize it a little better and kind of give people a heads up of what to expect. Um, 
because when I do things in the spur of the moment, I feel like I give a lot of people whiplash, or they're like, oh, what's going on? <clears throat> but, um, for the most part, I haven't had a, a problem with, you know, feeling that I need to stay within one niche or lane or, um, category, I guess. <laughs> Whether it's me chilling with one person or 50 people, <clears throat> all I really care about is that we're having fun and a good time. <laughs> I feel less lonely now that you're here and chat is here. Yay! I'm glad. Well, that's what I like to do for you guys. Because mm, you guys do the same for me. My highest number ever on Shrek 2 PS2 and it will always haunt me because I hated the game. There's a Shrek game for PS2 and you play that? <laughs> That actually sounds fun, but <laughs> I'm sorry you hated it. Juegas? Juego veces. I was playing Elden Ring earlier, but just a little bit on my own. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for my foot to make. Oh, okay, um. I've been tapping so much I haven't taken this out. <laughs> Will you guys help me? I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna die because I haven't I haven't smoked in a couple. <laughs> okay, okay. It's oh it's 420 for you! Happy 420! Cheers! Wait, 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 wait. I'm not getting here. No, 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 I wanna get more here. Like this. Mm. You want a shotgun chat? Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. There's. Well done. Ah, uh, I kind of baited you guys. <laughs> I forgot my wig. Mm, okay, let's taste the sweet, sweet. Butane. It's been a while. Mm. I'll go find my wake up to this head. Ow! Ow! I really burned my finger! I forgot how annoying the flame is when it curves up! Wah! I'm not used to lighting so long.
I believe she should have fire resistance. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I haven't had a good smoke in a while, I'm so jelly. Oh, mm -hmm. it's okay, I'll smoke for both of us. <laughs> I still have a couple of hits to catch up to. Protein, 5 grams fiber, and 6.5 whole grains. I have a dark chocolate coconut almond flavor. It's pretty good. Aldi mentioned. Oh, okay. did you guys know? Aldi, the guy that. that um, the guy who founded Aldi is the brother of the guy who founded Trader Joe's. And you can look this up. It's it's just like a weird thing that I found out about. <laughs> so apparently, mm, these two siblings are on a friendly battle. And the reason why Aldi products are quote unquote much cheaper than a lot of other grocery stores is because the the brother who owns the Aldi's Aldi's is trying to compete with Trader Joe's. So basically it's like a big fuck you to his brother who is the C who <laughs> who started Trader Joe's. That's I just found that kind of goofy and interesting. Like, who would have thought? <laughs> and it makes sense. When you think about it, they they do offer similar things, but Aldi is, is always much cheaper. And out of pettiness, Aldi will not write, but they just don't raise their prices like other stores because he's just trying to one up his brother and everyone else which sounds pretty based imagine keeping your cheap your prices cheap just because you have a grudge against your brother <laughs> we are benefiting from their family affairs in Germany it's Aldi North and Aldi South, but in the US they had to change the name of one of the chains. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that! That's pretty cool! <laughs> I love that level of pettiness. Mm. The brother is cutting to a big argument. Oh! Well, I didn't know that. Hi Karma, welcome! Welcome! This blunt I'm smoking on is insane. I haven't smoked a blunt in so long, but I do have I do have papers here. I love I love the sound it makes. And I love the way it smells. <sighs> blunt paper? Um, um well not blunt, joint paper. Specifically the raw. They smell so good. I got a 
fun fact? Sure. You guys could share fun facts. I love learning new things. Mm. We're packing, now let's hit. Mm. I like using a pipe pump. There is a making a pump with that. Wow. I don't think I've ever tried that. Does that thing is funky? Or is it like cardboard filters? I don't know. Mm, there's all types of filters actually. Mm, did you all know Will Smith is a big Ultraman fan? No, that's really random. And I don't I will never have guessed what the fuck. in the box. for the average discount. Oh. Um. <laughs> you guys have been knowing the Aldi story? Yeah, it was new to me. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Um, remember uh, at the beginning of the stream we had that troll talking nonsense It reminded me of another subject <clears throat> that I want to go back on. It's not really trolling, but more like... <coughs> My bad. <laughs> there was an after burp. Holy shit. Whoops, sorry if I just blew someone's eardrums off here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Bobby kiss my good buddy. <laughs> I got scared shitless. You're welcome. Shit that makes me feel really good. Mm. You know you when you wake up in the morning and you take a big you drop a big ass log in the toilet? You know it's going to be a good day. Mm. So if I'm making you guys shit, then I guess at that point all I can say is you're welcome. <laughs> speaking speaking of shit, it's like it activated something in my self-conscious and it oh. <laughs> I couldn't hold that part back. My bad. <laughs> Get farted on, chat. <laughs> Get shit. That's why the volume is always at 25%. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. With all the footage B has done, we could definitely make a musical. Oh! Chat! Mm. Mm. Mr. Chat, a second burping video has been dropped. I... By the way, someone made a second... Well, the same channel. The same channel made a second compilation of my burps. <laughs> I think it's like 23 minutes? I forgot. It's over 20 minutes. Again. So, you know, if you guys, if you're watching this random YouTube hero that puts all of my clips together, my burping clips together, thank you for your service. <laughs> because I am too lazy to do it. So I really appreciate that, and you know, if you're doing the work, feel free to monetize off of it. I'm not gonna come after you and copyright you or anything. I don't give a shit. If anything, people that do those sort of things help streamers grow. I know mm, some of the bigger streamers don't want their content being reposted and monetized by other people because it takes away from them, which is very understandable, but it's also a lot of free publicity. 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 Publicity is what I meant to say. They mm, got content to last all last time. <laughs> Unsung heroes. Hiya Benched, welcome! <laughs> Your patience, I... One of my favorite genres. <laughs> I... It's, it's, this feels weird to say, but I don't... I can't remember the last time that I saw like a good pun video. Maybe... You guys can't relate to that because you're such goner perverts and I I am wholesome and a sweet puppy <coughs> who was never really horny <coughs> but <coughs> I just I can't remember the last time I like I saw a good poem video and now that I think about <coughs> I'm very I have, I, it's not that I have, I, I'm not horny because I do have a high, uh, libido, 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 that word is weird, libido, 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 how do you say that? I have a high, a high sex drive basically, and um, I still don't, Maybe I like fried my brain when I was a teenager. But like I watched so much porn when I was a teenager that I just like I don't <coughs> I don't really seek it out. I don't waste my and it's also like how impatient I am. The ADHD kicks in 
And I just don't want to be browsing for something that I'm like, I will potentially like. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> I guess Tasha could find a few. Yeah, but I was going to say that I do appreciate when people share their favorite videos with me. And don't don't take what I tell you guys here as <laughs> don't don't take anything that I say to heart or like as methods of interacting with other streamers because when I ask for certain things on Twitter, I'm literally asking for it. There are <laughs> There's people that will say I'm horny and they get unsolicited videos or like people in their DMs wanting to sex them or share porn with them or or a spicy picture and, and then they get called a creep <coughs> and a weirdo and I I agree. <clears throat> you know, if no one's inviting you in and you just step in their house and, and flop your dick around, you are weird. <clears throat> Someone saying they're horny is not an invitation. It doesn't mean that they want you to take care of it, you know? They must just be putting it out there. But when I say I'm horny or hey, does anyone got some videos to share? Or, hey, I am reading DMs with a hand on my pants, just so you guys are aware of it. In case anyone wants to DM me something spicy. <clears throat> That's me opening the door to that, you know? It's, it's like I'm literally asking for it, so I'm not going to get upset. And I do notice that some people will, and I won't get, like, because, <clears throat> first of all, I'm looking at DMs with one hand, right? I'm not going to spend time replying to everyone and try to have a conversation with them. <laughs> Sometimes the best I could do is give you a reaction to let you know that I read it or that I am reading it. <clears throat> but as long as people aren't being rude or weird and demanding on my DMs, I have absolutely no problem with being sent horny DMs or like um, hentai or your favorite videos when I literally asked for it. <laughs> but uh, don't use me as a blueprint for interacting with other streamers or Bluetoothers or any other content creator because sometimes people just write I'm horny <coughs> and that's all there is to it they don't want you in their DMs <coughs> um, but I I have no problem you know uh, <laughs> asking for things and navigating through shit in my DMs. The one thing that I do hate, you know, okay, this is like a little pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I hate I hate it when I say that I'm horny or something along those lines, right? Um, or and, and people enter my DMs and I think they're going to write something spicy or I think they're gonna send me a video or I don't know I have something completely different in my mind and instead they DM me Hi, how are you? Are you horny right now? Are you fucking kidding me? Brother, did you not read what I posted? Why are you asking me the obvious? What? I <laughs> they'll, 
And they'll send me something, like a really stupid dance question like that. Even though I posted in my Twitter like, I am in heat, I am so fucking horny, I need it right fucking now. Someone please DM me and tell me about all the dirty things they want to do to me. And then they'll just fucking DM me with like, yo, so you horny? That is like one of my biggest turn-offs. I just... <laughs> <laughs> I understand that maybe it's their way of trying to initiate spicy talk, but that's just a stupid way to do it, especially if I'm putting out the horniest fucking energy in the timeline. <laughs> what a disappointment. And send the entire get out. Yeah. Mm. Who is fumbling that? <laughs> I'm literally warmed up for you guys. I'm doing the heavy lifting. I'm horny brain already. I got the corner. I'm in the corner mind state. <laughs> and you coming to my DMs asking if I'm horny. That's it? I'm not gonna reply. This is why I, I just. I can't spend time getting to everyone, especially <laughs> when it's stuff like that. Salted coffee. Thank you for the follow. Mm. TOS in here, yeah. Don't <laughs> don't have a chat that you would have one on one with me in front of everyone. <laughs> that should be pretty common sense, but I I do. I do welcome the spicy things, especially that involve me, because I'm really curious about what people fantasize when it comes to me being in the picture. That's how I've gotten a couple of my uh, like kinks now. <laughs> It's with people sharing their their fantasies with me, and uh, I'll just you know I'll read it and be like, oh that sounds really hot. I've never imagined it this way or thought of it that way. Um, so I would say some of you guys are a bad influence on me. <laughs> but it's fun. But see, I do it on purpose because I'm an asshole. <laughs> I, I know you'll be trolling me, Kai. <clears throat> but <clears throat> at least you, you're pretty funny. Sometimes you'll post like a stupid meme or say something really stupid. But it's funny, not, not like, um, not like how people troll and they're just not funny. I don't know. You know, like. <clears throat> I could be horny posting, and then someone will be like, oh, but here's the cool meme, and that would be funny, but mm, I could be horny posting, and then someone will try to troll and be funny and say, like, mm, um, I don't know, like, if, if it's just, like, straight up degrading, <laughs> there's a difference. But they're like, ah, oh, what, what the fuck is going on here? This shit sucks. <laughs> like that, like you're just being straight up rude to be rude. Mm. I have a few stories in my pocket for me. Locked, cocked, and sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I have quite a lot to learn about being spicy. I think we all do, actually. I want to do a. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be TOS safe here, <laughs> but I would like to do a stream where we practice each other's wrists, <laughs> but, well, I'm saying wrists here, but it would be more like sexting, and, 
just seeing each other's skills and seeing what we can learn. Kind of an educational, sexual sort of thing, but that would be um, a good idea for a fantasy game. Mm, not here. Just talk about what I like when I'm sexting or when I'm having. Oh, it was e National E Sex Day. <clears throat> was it yesterday? Two days ago, I can talk about mm, called e sex. I've had mm, mm, people are not gonna believe this, or maybe I don't know, but fuck it, it's my truth. <coughs> I'm gonna jump about it. <coughs> He sucks. <clears throat> the concept of it seems pretty goofy, but <clears throat> good e sex is no joke. I have had better e sex than actual physical fucking sex with someone. And I think that should say a lot about this, like, you know, how people can get off in all sorts of ways. It's, it's fucking great. Really. I live in a great society. Mm. Mm. social setting to physically the end. Mm. 
to control my toys. Some of you guys aren't real. I'll never be alone. Because I hear voices in my head. They talk to me. Oh my gosh. I got attacked by Noxy, another beetler. <laughs> he attacked me the in the Randy Orton Tekken post. <laughs> <laughs> And I was giggling because I am getting a reputation for being a Randy Orton fan. Mm. Mm. And I just think it's really sweet when people remember things that I like or enjoy and tag me and post like that. Mm. Mm, okay, well, what to my dad for me is the early from space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so strong. I can, I can lift. Um, almost a hundred pounds with one leg. Uh, doing donkey kicks on the cable machines. Chat. Two months ago. Two months ago, I struggled. Lifting 25 pounds with one leg. Now I can lift 100 pounds with one. That's not, that's not even double. I couldn't believe how light the weight felt. When I started my first set, I was like, okay, well, 
I have not been going super hard in my last session, so I didn't expect anything crazy. And I started, I started with my usual weights. I started with 50, 50 pounds doing donkey kicks and the cable machine. And I lifted that so easily. I did the rest of the sets with the 100. I, I was so happy. <clears throat> I'm so motivated to keep going now. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad that um, me talking about it, we're posting um my progress and. I'm glad that it's helping some of you guys want to go to the gym yourselves. <clears throat> it really is rewarding. Also, <clears throat> did you know? Hold on. I just got a fat jacket. <clears throat> statistics for 2024 and it's not it's not accurate right because not everyone mm, works out at the gym some people work at home you know they go outside that's fine but it's a pretty good estimate <coughs> and if you my bad. <laughs> My bad, chat. Mm, just know that if you worked out... If you worked out today, or three times this week, you are putting in more effort to bettering yourself than 80% of the US population. As of right now, statistics say that it seems that there's 20% of the population signed up to gyms. That's not even counting for the people that have a membership and don't even go to the gym. So the number should actually be much lower because you know there's a lot of people out there that have have taken out the gym membership in that gone. So by default, if you did any sort of exercise or worked out more than three times in a week, you are already putting more effort than 80% of the US population. <laughs> so even if it doesn't seem like a big deal to you, it kind of is a big deal. Not everyone has, you know, the drive to get up and try to exercise. And I'm, I'm the same way. I, I'll, I'll admit it is kind of... It's not even that I don't enjoy working out because I do. I like the way it makes me feel, it makes me look, I 
especially if we're doing like uh, if we're doing group activities, playing sports, ball games, whatever. I sound like an actual dog. <laughs> I love I love running around with people. Okay, it's fun. Mm. Get fucked eight percent. <laughs> Beating the average US citizen ain't that impressive. I'll take any small win that I can take. Hey. Hey. I I if I don't take the small wins I I start letting the depression win. And then I become worse than the average US citizen. <laughs> you get what I mean? So I'll take any small win against the general US population. <laughs> well, time to tune in. Welcome. <laughs> you came in at the burp. <laughs> oh, what? Hold on. Let's put my water in the humidifier. That's true. Plus, positive reinforcement is really good for you. Just hyping yourself up and celebrating every like day to day small wins. Even if you like lounged around and didn't do anything today, you know, like sometimes I'm thankful that like I can even walk. <laughs> Fuck it. So what? I don't do anything today. I'm I'm thankful that I, like I'm st like <laughs> I'm still able to walk to the store, and mm, to I see that as a small win. Mm. <clears throat> Otherwise, um, I get I get stuck in like mm, a negative mindset. It's very easy for me to slip there so I try to be my my best own hype man when I can. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's take this ball. Cheers. This one's for you, Molly. small wins, like I mentioned <clears throat> it might seem silly to some people but <clears throat> I don't I am sadly painfully aware of what goes out what goes around me in the world um, I'm not sure if you guys heard about the story recently where there's this TikTok trend um, of people people throwing water balloons at each other and hitting each other with uh, water guns. They but they have a name for it. What's it called? Does anyone know? Chat. Has anyone heard about this? Mm. Yeah, 
situation even though it was a misunderstanding did that did that got parole like he got 10 i think he he just like he's out on on bail he didn't get any jail time only zero jail time actually shot at a kid got the sentence for attempted murder yeah but he's free He's free, if you look into it. He did not spend- I don't think he even spent a couple of days in jail. That's insane to me. It, it's even more stupid because... I don't know if you guys heard that story of uh... uh hold on, let me show you guys the, the video because it's really fucking cool. Video, but they probably showed here. Mm, the guy that fucking got arrested for filming the Lambo getting shot up by the helicopters. What? That looks fucking fun and cool as shit. He got 10 years. He's sentenced to 10 years in prison. How does that make any fucking sense? How does Trigger Happy Dad not spend a week in jail, but they put this dude, they, they sentence him to 10 years for filming the coolest shit ever? How does that even fucking make sense? GTA online. I wait, I, I got the vested for carrying explosive on the helicopter without the permit. Aviation is extremely strict. Intentionally crashing a plane alone gets you in jail. Oh, 
that's still fucking dumb because no one got hurt. Why would he need to go to jail? Well, I get that he broke regulation laws, but still! Nah. <laughs> The guy who fucking shot up the teenager should be in jail, not that content creator. <clears throat> but yeah, Senior Assassin seemed like a harmless trend and prank. Yeah, it's sad to see that it actually led to a real incident. Mm -hmm. I hope that kid is making a good recovery. You can't even buy legally any plane or helicopter without a license. Ooh. He thought his daughter was about to be assassinated. <laughs> mm. It's a really unfortunate situation, really. these guns look because I feel like it's very easy to tell a water gun from a real gun, you know, but mm, whatever, moving on, let me attempt to go back to my forgotten topic, <laughs> I'm pride, and that's what I meant to bring up at the very beginning of the stream a uh, sort of a PSA. Mm. <laughs> As to why I made the post in the first place. Uh, because I don't want I don't want people to take this as a you should go and harass this person. If anything I think you should just report them and move on. There's no reason why anyone should be harassed, especially if I don't know if they are reselling or stealing more than just one aspect of uh, of my content. <laughs> Hi, CJ. Welcome. Why is your trigger discipline? <laughs> and it's it's uh this post that I made. <clears throat> well, um, main reason I made this post is basically for awareness. <clears throat> also, the fact that they have ten k followers. <laughs> It's really funny to me because my actual Instagram is that I don't post there at all and <clears throat> they're doing a better job being representing me online than I, I do myself I guess <laughs> but what's that cool is the potential and the idea that they might be scamming some people or actually pretending to be me. <laughs> ah, no! It's all right. mm. It's not an impersonator, just a regular fan page. It's it seems all the things point to impersonator. Mm, because not only did they steal my my profile picture, <clears throat> they're using my Beatover, but they also changed their Instagram username to sexiest pup. Now, this is not a picture where my puppy ears show. It's actually a very old commission. So the fact that this person even knows that my Beethoven is a puppy means that they are aware that of who I am. 
I guess. Um, because if you just were to look at this picture, you will not see that and go, Oh, puppy! It's, like I said, it's an old commission before. My, my puppy ears started chilling. <laughs> and I have it right here, actually. It's a really nice picture. Here, let me show you guys. <clears throat> um, I... I commissioned this, um, when I was playing a lot of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Wait, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when I was playing a lot of Modern Warfare 3. No, but as you can as you can tell, I have no no puppy ears here. So <clears throat> not only did they take the picture, but they changed the username to say sexiest pup. And uh, right here, the bio caption says your favorite puppy. And the thing that kind of sets off the biggest red flags for me is also that they are a not safe for work uh, daily post account, but also highlight adult entertainment. Entertainment. And oftentimes, uh, people don't make it very obvious, but I have been in instances like this before where people were using my pictures, my, you know, non beatover <clears throat> IRL pictures and catfish other people or you know pretend that they're me or say oh this is also me this is just a new account blah 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 and you know it sucks that some people fall for it um and I definitely do get those type of vibes from this account because if it was just a profile picture it wouldn't set off this many red flags. The change in username, the adult entertainment, the puppy all aspects of it. I feel that they are uh, aware of my type of content. So I would say impersonator. Just, you know, be aware of people like this. <clears throat> if. Um, if, if, if we're like talking a lot back and forth, or if, uh, if, um, I don't know, you, you think you're talking to me and they ask you for money in DMs or any, if you basically chat, if, if I ever come up to your DMs and straight up ask you for money or if you want to buy content from me, it's most likely not me. So don't fall for it. <laughs> Didn't we? I, I do have an Instagram account. It's just that. I don't post there. <laughs> I should. Uh, I should try to grow my Instagram account a little bit. So... At least, like, it could prevent stuff like this from happening. Um, kind of... <laughs> it's kind of fucked up that some of my impersonators get more followers than me. <laughs> because they're more dedicated to posting in the grind than me. <laughs> more like Rat Bastard. You only ask for hentai, got it. Yup, I only ask for hentai. <laughs> I'm like the mob, but for hentai. You got my video? I need a nut! Where's my video chat? <laughs> you got my <laughs> nut video with sound on? Or what? You gonna have a bottle chat? I would, at the very least, make a list of your socials with a the disclaimer. These are the real ones, just to cover your ass. Yeah, that's true. Maybe have that somewhere on, on my accounts. 
Room gain of water. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know, it's an impersonator when you actually answer my nonsense DMs. <laughs> yeah, that's also a big giveaway. If they have the attention span to actually retain a conversation, that is not the ADHD written dog that you know and love. <laughs> if I can, if I can keep. Uh, a solid conversation going back and forth for a long period of time, I have been replaced. That That is not me. <laughs> the real B would see another notification or something shiny and go, Oh, what's that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I have had the imposter answer last DMs. <laughs> Maybe, or maybe more, because I got more time. I wonder what it's like to be like a, like an imposter of another creator, because there's only so much that you can fake and do, but I guess that kind of gives you more time to interact with people, to try to get what you want. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, okay, we're gonna take this next hit. Yeah, it's gonna shotgun this. Say, ah! <clears throat> well... I swear. I swear, I swear. Mm. But I'll get, I'll get my new now. <laughs> Cheers. You guys are gross. Okay. <laughs> I love that you guys let me be gross. Mm. Mm. Instead of making me relive the, mm, the, 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 my parenting trauma. <laughs> Which is bad B. Shouldn't be burping. Girls don't do that. Call me a pathetic dork. Mm. Bump in your mouth? Call you a pathetic dork? Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Oh, that was weak. Don't say anything. I know that was bad. Just shut up. I 
is my pronunciation and annotations. <laughs> Play for five minutes and she's offering mouth burps. <laughs> Here's your favorite horny gel jader. Just came by to remind you to behave yourself. I made horny gel a little bit pricier. <laughs> So, it costs more for me to get in trouble, hehehe. <laughs> ow! Ow! Hello, man, big. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you guys liked it. Ow! Thank you for the biddies, a bunch. <laughs> Just got home from the gym. Welcome! How's your workout? What did you work on today? I did legs. Tomorrow I have to do... I hate doing back and upper body. But... Mm, I'm seeing results so... I'm excited to go back tomorrow. <laughs> apple, apple pie. Thank you for your pie. Six ninety four horny gel now. I don't wanna be here for hours just for that. <laughs> the dedication to yeah, telling me. I kinda of respect that. I was Spanish también, sí. Soy Latina. Que no es obvio que soy Latina porque. Cada vez que camino, pueden escuchar mi trasero moviéndose. ¿O no? <ríe> claro. I wanted to share. Man. Hey, are you are you a guy? Any men in chat? I am aware of you. It's Men's Awareness Month. Men's, men's Health Awareness Month. And I want to share my favorite post by men. I'm going to be doing this the entirety of this month. So, let's drop and chat. Because I've gathered some of my favorite posts made by men. This could not be... This could not be possible without you guys, so I thank you for that. Mm. Example number one. Mm. A cute girl messages you on a dating app and says, How do I get a date with the handsome devil in tan? Mm. I can ask him and follow up with you and she replies with I really appreciate it tell him I like long walks and I can bring treats he said do you like anal? <laughs> I guarantee you she did not reply <laughs> She did not reply. I think the impersonator has gone private. <laughs> As they should. They should be ashamed. <laughs> and keep that shit private. I... It, it was going so well. He actually had a shot. He got two responses. <laughs> You got to <laughs> Wait, they lost their followers, they got banned? <laughs> oh let's go. Couldn't be done without you guys. Now hopefully less people will be I mean it's less likely that someone else will get scammed. 
Ay. Tuloy man at sa atong buhat. Baka moment. Like streamer light chat. Honestly, I wouldn't. I would have believed you because I I have them blocked too. I would have just been like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would have been on the way, so. Mm -hmm. um. Cute, Leo. I, I wanna I wanna stay with the team and keep with the. With the guy oriented post, with the dude posts. Dude posting. <clears throat> Coming off a crazy three day gooning binge, I have googled some questionable stuff. <clears throat> I just had a three day meth session. <laughs> as, as men do, where I took both around. 150 mg of math each day to go to online material on my phone a couple of breaks in between and I had about three hours of sleep <laughs> only within the three days with just one meal I had also taken one Viagra tablet on day three for the first time ever. <laughs> it was crazy three days when where my total actual literal jacking off time was 33 hours out of the 72 hours I ended up using twice a whole 500 millimeter bottles of baby oil, about 750 millimeters of coconut oil, and a thousand millimeters of jelly water based move. <laughs> Brother, what? Why so much? I. I. He probably has calluses in his hands. I const I constantly switch between two large vibrating prostrate prostate massagers. I'm not gay. <laughs> cope, brother, cope. <laughs> Even if you weren't, just you saying that in parentheses. Probably tells me that you're a little bit closeted. I don't care if you're gay or straight and you like you like things up your butt. There's nothing wrong with that. But saying in parentheses, I am not gay. Brother, you're a closet raging homosexual. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Again, there's nothing wrong with being straight and liking shit up your butt. There's guys, I believe, 100% guys that are like that. And they're not gay at all. But just writing it any chance you get is... Tells me otherwise, dude. <laughs> oh boy, does my rear now hurt. Both of my forearms are destroyed. No friction issues with the D, but... It still feels very bruised. By day 3, I was experiencing psychosis where I thought people were outside of my house. <laughs> he gooned so much and so hard. He got gooning indu induced psychosis. Man, I I am not a true gooner compared to this guy. 
imagine groaning so hard you you trigger gunner into psychosis Couldn't so hide the coons came out for his gun <laughs> After my cummy dies, <laughs> the good people who are after him. <laughs> Brother, you can do that and then say that. That's legal. <laughs> and I'll say from experience, you spend more on love than meth when smoking meth. <laughs> Man, I love fairies. Welcome. I love fairies too. Oh, wait! I forgot to load my furry model. Shit. Chat. Oh well, I'll do it next time. Next stream, I'm too lazy to go into my B2 studio folders. <laughs> mm, he's out of the gun, man. <laughs> All of his school are friends. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> the test. Anyone else ever done anything similar to this? Also, I know Google tends to share certain search data which could cause problems for me. Mm. Wait, what's going on? Another math gunshish? I constantly switch between- no, no, no. Oh, that's the same post. Uh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> One time! Um, cheers. Let's pack another hit. The tweak stories I have. I don't have a lot of tweaker stories, I think. A lot of pothead stories. I Well, actually, I have like a tweaker story. But that's because I worked at this really bad neighborhood. Um, uh, at this... It's not as, as popular as Boost Mobile, but it's basically those similar stores. When I was... Uh, a senior in high school, I worked at a, at a like boost mobile store. It was actually called Metro PCS, and I think there's still a couple around. But this store was in a really bad neighborhood, and I had a lot of tweakers come in, <laughs> and they always just bought the cheapest phone that they could get, and you know. Left the game. <laughs> I had no problem with that, but I did witness some strange behavior and definitely was put in awkward situations. But looking back at them, they're really funny <laughs> to think about. There was this like really sweet older lady that came into this toy and I try not to you know judge people away they the color but she was giving off big tweaker vibes um but either way again I have no problem with anyone as long as they mind their own business and they're nice to me and are not giving me any problems because I've had I've had problematic tweakers in the store and they were not fun to deal with but um, this lady was you know very sweet <clears throat> and she was talking about her day and uh, was coming in to purchase a new phone she wanted something cheap as well and um, I showed her a couple of phones, and when she finally came up to the register to pay for the phone, she started looking to her purse. 
and was displaying the entire contents of the purse and basically to me because she was doing this out in the open right in front of me and she's shifting to the purse and I see a meth pipe <laughs> and what appears to be like crack <laughs> and she's she realizes what just happened and freezes for a moment she gave me like puppy eyes for a moment like and <laughs> and then she apologized and said i'm so sorry um it should be somewhere here she just like kept <laughs> She's, she kept, she kept just like, you know, carrying on like normal And until she finally found her wallet And I, you know, I just, <laughs> I just chuckled And shrugged it off I, you know, what can you do with that sort of situation? It was just really funny because she froze for a moment And I kind of did too <laughs> A bit of an oopsie. Mm. Shrugs. It's just a hobby. Yeah, she looked like the sweetest lady too. But like, there, you know, tweakers have certain physical traits that you can tell they they've done a bit of tweaking. And like I said, I, I didn't want to assume, but that kind of just confirmed it for me. She was she was really nice though. <laughs> Mm, the, um, the other experiences have not been really oh, as positive. I've had a tweaker with a raging boner come into the store. Like, also, I, I don't know how fucked up he was because he was not, he was not very aware or, of where he was and what was going on because he was like two times my size and as soon as I saw him approach like as soon as I saw him come in I knew he was trouble and I told him to get out as soon as he refused to get out of the store I got upset he got confrontational and I pushed him I literally had to push him out of the store and he was, you know, so lost that he didn't, like, even have time to react or really, like, do anything. It was really easy for me to, you know, overpower him and kick him out of the store, but that shit fucking terrified me. Um, I... <clears throat> the... the <laughs> The things I did to to earn money as a high schooler kid. <laughs> well, at least that ended well. When I was a little kid, I always used to wonder why the liquor store sold flowers inside a class too. <laughs> mm, Twig is a act of being like, yeah. You serve him right? Yeah, I felt kind of bad, but also I did the right thing because there was it was just me and another girl there. So if we actually allowed him to come into the store and you know start harassing us, who knows how bad things could have escalated. Um, but. Yeah. <laughs> Tweaking scares me. As a concept, because I already... I already feel... Like... I already feel like a menace. <laughs> okay. 
in my day to day life, I need, like, the weed helps me calm down, you know, otherwise I'm all over the place, and it's hard for me to, like, organize my thoughts. I can only imagine how bad I would be on meth or some sort of, like, drug that's, uh, like cocaine, Cause, because those, mm, those drugs st stimulate you so much. <clears throat> I'll probably be really annoying in those drugs. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and some of the most of the well, mofos I've met were tweakers. <laughs> I bet. <clears throat> Got even more nail polish? Nice! Mm, I haven't bought nail polish in a while. I actually need to redo my nails. But the thing is, is that I keep going out to fish. And since I've been fishing often, I, I haven't had the time to fix my nails. Also, mm, when I'm fishing, they get really messed up easily. Because I guess the water. And, yeah. <laughs> like someone tweaked your brain. Yeah, that's a good way of explaining it. I had a moment like that tweakle before. I will paint them for you. <laughs> to be nice. <clears throat> I think if I smoked meth, I would be unstoppable. <clears throat> I think that's how some streamers dream for long periods of time. Like, streamers that do 8 hours plus, they gotta be bumping something, right? <laughs> if I did like a subathon and we smoke weed the entire time, half of the subathon would just be me falling asleep, going like snoring. A poco si up. What other man posts do I have in store for you guys? Oh, wait! Uh, this is actually a manga I'm reading. It's called. I think it's called After God? After Gods? After God? It has really cool art. <clears throat> and, um, I'm enjoying it so far. Mm, uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna spoil it. It went back to the beginning, I have to find where I left off. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Mm. Finally got my sheep back at the area. <laughs> Yay! Real sheep or Minecraft sheep? I could ramble about my experience with it. When I did my 28 hour stream, I was wired on Adderall. <laughs> I knew it! <clears throat> See? You guys have to be on something to be streaming for that long. I knew what the in the Walmart and with coke I was pulling up my cart to buy and the baggie of coke was just stuck to the back of the cart <laughs> fell off and landed while the scanner <laughs> never left Walmart faster <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> um my dog I, I, I've mentioned this story before so, might be familiar to some of you, but my only experience with cocaine, besides like high school parties, I never touched it, but I was around it. I had people, 
I had people around me that did all types of shit. <laughs> Way bad. <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> the only time where I've actually put my hands on cocaine. Oh, your ears. Mm, my bad. Mm, mm. Puppy kiss to make it better. I will go 24 hours, you still without streaming. Also, I've never encountered a tweaker as you called them before. Is this like a common occurrence for you guys? It's common in low income neighborhoods in the US. <laughs> Or, you know, third world countries, places where drugs are a problem, mm, all types of places. <clears throat> but the, the stories that I was just talking about, they were in a bad neighborhood, to be fair. <clears throat> um, which is funny because I live pretty close to said neighborhood. <laughs> so... I'm not in the best place, but it's also not the worst. I like my neighborhood. Even if it is really loud sometimes. <laughs> Goes to the doctor. I need Adderall for my job. Doctor. You stream, bro? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I used to smoke a stone throw away from the town's police stations. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. So, the one time I touched cocaine, um, <clears throat> I was, I was taking my my dog out for a walk. Uh, it was one of those like restless nights, you know, when you feel manic, you can't go to sleep. Mm, it was like 10, 30, 11. It was really late. That's that's what I remember. <clears throat> and I took my dog out for a walk because I couldn't sleep and I thought the exercise would be good for both of us. <clears throat> Plus, my dog is like 90 pounds and almost as tall as me <laughs> so I don't I don't feel unsafe when I'm walking her no matter what time and this wasn't particularly like a great area to be walking in but you know <clears throat> I I just had too much energy <clears throat> so we're going for a walk at night and all of a sudden, my dog pulls me towards the bushes, and I'm like, huh? What's going on? And you know, I let her lead me, <clears throat> and she starts sniffing, like huffing, by the bushes, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And she finds, a, like, a huge sealed bag which what appears to be cocaine and I never fucking sampled it or anything so you know chat I can't even to this day tell you for sure that it was cocaine <clears throat> but from just from what the, like the circumstance that's what it it seemed like this was a shady park and we found this bag full of <laughs> white powder in the middle of a bush <clears throat> um, and don't worry my dog didn't inhale anything because again it was a sealed bag but I picked it up and I was like oh fuck I <laughs> I think someone's going to hunt me down if if I leave with this. Mm -hmm. Um 
But also there was no one around. And I already had picked it up and I got nervous. I kind of panicked. <laughs> I'm not gonna be honest, I kinda panicked. I grabbed the bag and I <laughs> and I was like where can I put the bag? Where can I put this? I I gotta put this somewhere where they won't be mad at me. For some reason it didn't occur to me to just leave the bag there in the bushes. I <laughs> I like, I like grabbed this cocaine bag. I, <laughs> I stuff it, I stuff it in my hoodie, and I drop it off. <laughs> and I, and I throw it. I toss it in the bag, in the back of a Walgreens. <laughs> I panicked. I don't. I was like, <laughs> I was like, where would these drugs find a home? I know where. I know where people do drugs, and I just. <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe I just. What was I thinking, bro? Chad, what the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> I... Oh, I made... That night, I probably made some tweakers very happy. <laughs> it must have been like, delivery! I panicked, I just... Yeah. Uh, and this was this was like like five years ago. Mm, that's my <laughs> that, that's the closest I've been to uh, that's my only experience with cocaine. <laughs> like they like just a criminal. <laughs> You aren't thinking that night. Isn't that normal panic reaction to run away? Yeah, I think that's what happened. I just fucking panicked. I was like, oh, no one saw me, right? No one's seeing this. I just like hit it and I like left. I panicked. And I was like, why am I taking this cocaine? I don't want cocaine. <laughs> Rehoming drugs. Mm -hmm. Clearly we should keep it away from you and I throw it away. No, but why did you take it? <laughs> because I'm Mexican! Alright? Mm, it just happens. It's in my DNA. I see drugs, I must smuggle them. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not feeding them. <laughs> I'm not feeding the allegations. Mm -hmm. uh, come on, you guys know I'm just looking around. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry, I guess your lions don't have that gene. Must suck. <laughs> So I just ima imagine not having a gene that makes drugs, you know, attracted to you. I feel sorry for anyone that's not Mexican, actually. You're telling me drugs are just not naturally drawn to you? That must suck. Base cartel DNA was activated. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my trash has that gene of just taking them to <laughs> mm, 
you've never met the new guy on before me, have you? No, I don't think so. You're why? No, no, I don't think I have. <clears throat> Her dog started it. What isn't attracted to you though? <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, that's right. I'm not addicted to drugs. They're addicted to me. <clears throat> Speaking of drugs, let's take the next bowl. I did pack it. <laughs> Cheers. Well, I guess that just means please could be attracted to me. <laughs> if I ever need the police to get to me really quick, I'll just tell them that Coop um, is here. <laughs> they'll, they'll come here to tackle you in the slab. I'm kidding. No, they won't. Especially not in the neighborhood that I live in. <laughs> I, I, I call and they'll probably be like, you sure that's not your cousin that just forgot the keys? No, 911, someone is breaking in. <laughs> check again, check again, maybe you recognize them. Could be of a joke on your name. Made some mac and cheese bites. <sighs> That's so sexy of you. Homemade mac and cheese bites. Or did you just like pop them in the fire? <laughs> I've never made them from scratch. <clears throat> I'm trying to be that bag of coke so they can throw me away. <laughs> no, I don't want to throw you away. I want to keep you. Come on. Wah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me keep you. Let me keep you. Hmm? I'll be the one. But, wait, they're pointing. Very pointing. I need to. I want to take this one. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> okay. I have. That's hot. Some of you could appreciate my bodily functions. <laughs> mm. Going back to my favorite family posts, mm. here's another one that I wanted to share with you guys. I used to fabricate Benmo transactions to make my social life appear more vibrant. It backfired. Ask me anything. <clears throat> so, if you guys didn't know what Venmo is, it's basically a cash app like app. It's it's a money transferring app where you send you know people money without fees. Um, although I'm not sure, it's been a couple of years since I've used Venmo, so I don't know if uh, you have to pay any fees to transfer money now or how it works. <clears throat> but basically, it's some money transferring up. <laughs> and OP is saying that. When I was in college, I would spend more popular people at my college $15 with a memo like pizza or coffee emoji. So my transaction history... Here's one thing that's different from Venmo that Cash App I think doesn't do. Whenever you make transactions on Venmo, you have the option of making a public timeline where other people can see who you are sending money to. I don't know why that's even a function. 
but <clears throat> um <laughs> but it is you have to pay fees if you're using it for business i use it for my art commissions oh okay <clears throat> and so it did change a little bit it seems Her feet painting my nails in Japan, you can't hide me. <laughs> mm. But what this guy is saying is that he essentially sent money to the popular kids in his school to make it seem like he was hanging out with them. Which is, when you think about it, really sad. Because He's keeping his Benmo timeline public so that other kids can see that he is sending money to popular kids, quote unquote, because he owes them or they were hanging out. Mm. Uh, I got caught, got caught for it and basically branded as a loser on campus and social media. Three years of trauma processing later, and I'm ready to talk about it. Ask me anything. I'm so enjoying your day, Steam. I love you, my Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> um, I still need to find like good art talks. I have Beans art, but I don't know if I like that one. Speaking of art, mm. it does have Discord. Uh, you can find it with the comment. Thank you, Mike. Mom. Mm. <laughs> I don't think that was an insult. Damn, Pam, did you just hand out money like that? Well, I figured someone receiving $15 for free would be like. Mom's the word, but not so. <clears throat> Independently wealthy. I'll accept your Venmo friend request if you send me $15 in the comments. That's pretty sad. Did these people know you? Were they confused as to why you sent them money? We never had interacted unless you count the transactions. What was the thought process that led you to think this was the right move? Like, what would you, what did you hope would happen? I felt like I could use it as an in to actually get into cooler social sense scenes on campus. I stayed school was hard scene for someone like me, and I felt like no one who was anyone wanted to do. Hmm wanted to do with you unless you can name drop who you hung out with. <clears throat> so it was like you were trying to rec have a record of being associated with the right people from, from a social proof. <clears throat> what happened that got you exposed? <laughs> That's a good question. The, my main question for this guy I'm gonna see, I'm looking to see if anyone has asked it. But how the fuck did you find did he find these people's band mouse? It's one thing to like I mean it's crazy enough to go out of your way and do this. <clears throat> but how did you find their band mouse? <clears throat> what happened that got you exposed? One person was claiming to hang out with Exposed me on social media for being a stalker and had me blacklisted from all Greek life. Having all the fat sorority people knowing your name at stalker at worst friendless loser at best was really horrible considering I was at a state school. State school. Good lord, I thought you said you were going. I thought you were going to say you photoshop Benmo transactions. <laughs> mm. 
This sounds like some extremely manipulative sociopathic shit. I would be extremely off-put by someone doing this just to lie to me. Thanks, I've already come around to realize this. I was mentally ill. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. But also, how did he find their Venmo account? No one is asking this. No one is asking this. I'm going to ask! <clears throat> maybe he'll reply, maybe he won't. We're asking the important questions here. How did you find their Venmo accounts? <clears throat> <laughs> Do that burp. <clears throat> I will go. Most people post their Venmo name on social media. That's true, I guess. I mean, but I feel like, oh, uh, like, I don't know. Some people don't have a reason to. <clears throat> do you want to see anything in particular drawn of you? Hmm. Hmm. I can't think right now. Oh! Johnny with a big baggy t shirt that says Taco Bell powered autism machine. <laughs> or, you know, do whatever you want. That works too. <clears throat> Not recently. <laughs> you didn't do anything wrong, puppy. <laughs> I like being told what to do. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, cool. I like telling people what to do. Mm. I'm very comfortable doing that. <laughs> I am the autism powered machine powered by the hopes of Sonic X Shadow Generation. <gasps> I can't wait for that. Finally, another reason for us to keep on living. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> mm. Oh. Mm. Going back to my manly post. <clears throat> Yesterday, my girlfriend gave me a bath. Work has been really stressing me out these last few weeks. New efficiency metrics are some horseshit, and it takes a toll on me. I was working late a lot, so I wasn't able to go to the gym as much. My morale has been on the toilet. When I got home yesterday, I ended up collapsing on the couch. I felt my girlfriend sat next to me and stroked my hair. I got up and gave her a hug. She told me she knew how stressed out I had been, and she wanted to do something for me. She asked if she could draw me a bath. I was kind of surprised by the idea, but I said, sure. She went to the bathroom and got the water going before going to our bedroom and fetching me a set of pajamas and walking me to the bathroom. She had me undress and get in. She then sat on the rim of the tub and washed me. She ended up talking about her day and her work while lathering up my hair. It was heaven. Oh, so cute. Afterwards, she helped me towel dry and put my dirty clothes in the hamper and made me a quick dinner. That was maybe the most romantic thing anyone has ever done for me. I've never felt so loved, I might marry her. Aww, so cute! But the original post, the person that posted this, um, is actually not reacting positively to this post. She says, girlfriend baits on, I might marry her. All men want is a mommy. 
<clears throat> and I'm not gonna lie, if you go here, a lot of the comments are just people talking shit about men. Mm. And someone co retweeted it and said, Are we still pretending to misunderstand that men simply enjoy being cared cared about and cared for in current year? Mm. Which is yeah, a very good point, and uh, I don't think that every guy wants quote-unquote a mommy. I think they crave the comfort and the love and, uh, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> Duh. Sorry, I'm so I got, I got distracted by <laughs> playing with my stress with my stress ball. It just looked the way it jiggles. to want to be pampered by your significant other <laughs> yeah I, mm, men when it comes to relationships actually want similar things that women do and that's to be cared for and loved by someone that they can feel at home with and I think the disconnect comes in like uh like um, gender norms and all these all these uh, expectations that we put on each other mm. Yuck, being like a girl's girl, no thanks. <laughs> mm. Girl's girl, where? I just want to go I don't need much else. I just want to be loved and mutually taking care of each other with anything. Yeah. <laughs> no! Taking care is so bad. Mm. Oh, I'll take care of you, chat. As long as you don't mind me burping around you occasionally. care of pam even even pampered sometimes <clears throat> I I think men should be pampered once in a while you know and actually as much as much as they can be and shit's hard out here <clears throat> I <laughs> I know I'm not. I'm not a loving puppy every stream, but I hope that mm, I I can make you guys feel as cared for and loved as you guys make me feel. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm proud. <laughs> Sorry if I'm talking and I don't make a lot of sense, but I'm really ill feelings, ill, bleh. 
say that my heart scars are healing and I have to this, this sounds so cheesy but I do like I guess I I guess it's because of some of you guys social freak Puppy, <laughs> what do you think of bunny girls named Red? Bunny girls named Red Sounds cute I like red hats a lot, I mean as you can tell <laughs> Red is one of my favorite colors You guys do, even if you stink. Why are you a bunny girl? Wait, now I have to. I have to check him out. Notifications. <laughs> Wait, is my I want to put nerds in their place <laughs> tweet blowing up still? Wait, no, this one's funny. Mm. No, I haven't read this one. Let me see. <coughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. My wife... My wife left me because I cheated, but now I regret winning custody of my kids. A man shares his story. She did on my wife and she left me. She wanted to leave. 
with her three kids, but my mom said I must not allow it. Why you listen to your mom? If you didn't want the custody of the kids, don't fight for custody of your kids. Don't don't listen to your mom, especially if you don't want to take care of your kids. <laughs> Oh, you poor ears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I draw finished content for people because it pays well. That's why I don't say, look. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I would not be scared by that at all. <laughs> once a week. She has been visiting. She's been visiting and she would buy all sorts of things for them. She would take them out to amusement parks, cinemas, and eateries. I'm earning uh, 400k in a month and it's not enough to sustain us. My girlfriend who Excuse me? 400k a month? He can't live off of that? How many kids does he have? 400k a month? I'm sorry chat, am I insane? Or like, is this... This is a great fucking salary. Maybe you should like cut down on expenses. If 400k in a month and it's not enough to sustain his family? What? I feel like tweakers have better money management than this. Oh, oh, oh my tummy. Chat, I gotta let it rip. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Whoops. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. Just adding on to this thing. Doesn't. Nothing this room hasn't seen. Mm. There are already reeks of weed here. What's one fart going to do? <laughs> Why did you. <laughs> you guys are so gross. Much grosser than me, I tell you. <laughs> uh, he would, I would, she would take them out to amusement parks, cinemas, and eateries. I'm earning 400k in a month and it's not enough to sustain us. Again, I don't understand how. My girlfriend, who I cheated with, is misbehaving now, but I can't complain because she helps me a lot and she's looking up for every opportunity to leave. I tried employing nannies, but they are so expensive. I borrowed a lot of money. I'm thinking of telling my wife to start giving more money though. She still pays for the school and fees and buys them some clothes and toys. My children love my wife so much, and I was thinking of begging her to come back, but she has a new guy already. Yikes, bro. What the fuck? <clears throat> I have a kink list somewhere in the cloud. <laughs> yeah, this isn't kink talk 101 right now, chat. But we do 
talk about everything pretty openly on Discord. I mean, you don't have to like anyone else's kink, as long as you don't clown on them or make them feel bad about it. You'll be alright. <laughs> Hello, Fubby. I'm the Bubby. Bubby. Welcome. Bum bum. That makes me feel a lot better. Sorry, I'm just high jumping. <laughs> yeah. Hop. Hop. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are they jumping around? Oh, right. He's begging for his ex-wife to come back, but she has a new guy. My babe is dressed, and she's even taking it out on my children already. What do you mean she's taking it out on your children? That's the stepmom. You need to... You need to check your bitch, dude. <laughs> But seriously, what do you mean taking it out on them? It's very hard for me because when my wife was here, she was paying majority of the bills. She owns a big filing station and supermarket that she inherited from her father. I can't go out and have fun because my children, I can't even bend to anyone because my wife already told everyone that I used to beat her when they advise her not to divorce them. This trust is too much for me because my babe is misbehaving and funds are limited. I get jealous because my wife is having fun with her friends and I'm here. I wish I didn't win custody. No young girl would want to date me now because of the because of money and I don't want any single mother. My mother can't do all these work because she's too old. And my girlfriend met a richer guy, but she's here because she doesn't have her own place yet. What the fuck? Oh, this guy is deep in the trenches. Okay. Does he deserve this though? Yes or no? He cheated. He cheated on her. You know? He he brought up all these situations upon himself. Not only did he cheat, but he listened to his family and fought for custody of all of his children. He didn't want to take care of the kids. He's miserable. So, not only did he cheat, out of spite, he tried to get full custody of the kids, which he managed to get. And now, he made his own bed and doesn't want to lay in it. It, it is kind of fucked up that his new girlfriend found someone else, is technically moving on, and is still living with him. That, that's kind of fucked up. But, I mean, it's kind of a taste of his own medicine, you know, sometimes what goes around comes around, you know? He got his karma. I think it's deserved. Mm, it's deserved. <laughs> mm, but I, I still can't get over the fact how spoiled are these kids? I mean, the mom sounds like she's super rich. And he's saying 400k a month is not enough to sustain his family? That's a lot of money they're spending. These kids must go to, like, private school. Not the serve, but earned? <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to say it. Definitely earned. Mm. It could live off that for years. It's got to be a typo. If not, I'm stealing. I don't think it's a typo because the wife owns a supermarket and like a filing company. 
and they were married before so maybe he do like i don't know what he used to do but it sounds like they had a lot of money mm. i think i finished actually going through my completion of manly posts for today <laughs> here's one that i saw and thought it was funny i've i've talked about this this specific story before but if you guys have any stories to share of your own feel free to do so this might be the last topic that we discuss because i started stream kind of late <laughs> and it's about to be 10 10 p.m for me i gotta i gotta make dinner and make sure i'm not eating too late <clears throat> And giving enough rest because I want my muscles to keep growing. Wow. This is the guy all those home renovation shows. Hello, <laughs> Mendo, right? This is a short stream, by the way. <laughs> this is a short stream. What do you mean? We didn't stream for four plus hours. <laughs> I got my money, but it's for my farm. Good. Take care of the animals. <laughs> you deserve it. Um, so, Cha, if you can relate to us, and there are a couple of stories here that we're gonna read through, but the question is, what is the fastest way that you've ever seen a new co-worker get fired? Um, before we read these, I'll talk about mine first. It's short and sweet, and I've definitely talked about it before. Um, so, maybe some of you have already heard it, but... Um, the fastest way I saw a new co-worker get fired I saw it coming from miles away. You know when you think that something might happen but you also blame it on your overthinking? Kind of like when I, I looked at that water snake and started thinking please don't come over here, don't come over here and then it swam up to me. <laughs> you know, when you do shit like that and you hope that it doesn't happen but it does happen the same thing happened in this situation with my co-worker. Um, I used to... When I was a senior in high school, I got into a program that helps after-school kids with homework. Um, I would go to middle schools and elementary schools and just basically help the kids out with homework, right? And it was a program ran by the school superintendent, but it had a lot of college and high school kids there. And, you know, I love my fair share of weed, but there were some people that freaked of weed when they went into work. And one of them was this new co-worker of mine. She was really sweet and nice. Um, and she was also a redhead. I liked her. She was cool, but one time, she, it was like, I think, still her first week of work. She came in stinking of weed. And it was not only the smell, but... I could tell she was stoned. <laughs> and usually that's not like, I don't have an issue with that, especially if you can do your job. But the smell was too much. I couldn't believe she was like that unaware of how much she reeked and sat down at, in the school cafeteria like that. Um. <clears throat> I wanted to give her 
I wanted to give her a heads up, but I also thought that she knew that she smelled because it was just so overpowering that there was no way that she didn't know, you know what I mean? I thought that she, she maybe she was around smokers and she just couldn't find perfume. I don't know what the situation was, you know, and I understand smoking before your job or even between breaks to perform better. If weed helps you with anxiety and do your job better, go ahead. But this is a tutoring job we're talking about, chat. You're, you know, working with middle school and elementary school children who are just trying to get some help in their homework. You should not be freaking like an entire dispensary and uh, I was like I hope she doesn't get fired in my mind you know I was like I hope nothing happens to her because she's really sweet but she shouldn't have done that definitely she should not have come into work like that and <clears throat> within the first hour that we were there the the program coordinator so the lady that runs the the program called her over and the last time i saw her she came back into the room to gather her things and leave and i was like oh fuck i knew it she got fired i felt so bad but like at that point, what what could I have done? Even if I did give her a heads up, I felt that she knew she reeked the weed. There was just no way she didn't know. Either she had it with her, or she just, like, finished smoking. And, you know, I kinda like, I can't be too hard on her because we were just stupid high schoolers. But, it's definitely not gonna leave good impressions if you start doing that shit within your first week of work mm. she probably yeah day one dude had temper issues with being told what to do i guess probably masculinity issues too because he called her boss stupid fucking bitch and he shouldn't have to listen to her how did he even get the job he was gone very fast from the help of me and other co-workers. <laughs> what the fuck? How did he even get hired with that fucking attitude? Jeez. Fastest I've ever seen someone fired was when I worked at this Mustang aftermarket shop. A client bought in a... Okay, let me... Hold on to that top because I gotta pee. I'll be right back, chat.
just you know the toilet is cold and dark but that's just because i didn't turn on the lights <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me let me continue. Oh, you guys kept the japping going on. Let's go. We got more stories. Another wait. <clears throat> Not sure. Another time I saw a coworker at Walmart while we were on break fucking steal a TV during Christmas. <laughs> hey, it's the season. His ass got arrested before he left the building. Oh, sad. <laughs> Listen, it, I would have a different attitude if it was a small business. A corporation like Walmart, I think they could afford to lose a TV. Especially with the way those workers are treated. His ass got arrested before he left the building. <laughs> oh, so sad. I just realized what the name of the stream is. Um, uh, I forgot what it was. <laughs> he tried. Past this coworker I know that got fired at my job was bringing her husband or boyfriend in near closing to help out, but also to smooch around the corner. Knowing there's cameras? And who knows, they probably being in the bathroom. But she got instantly fired that week prior. <laughs> she... She said, fuck it. The... The trail of the risk was hotter than potentially losing her job. Now that's a true gunner. I was sitting with Thomas at the time when I saw police guys. Oh, Mike, Mike, yeah, you were saying. Hold on. <clears throat> the fastest I've seen someone get fired was when I worked at this Mustang aftermarket shop. A client brought in a Ferrari. We were only supposed to do a diagnostic, but mechanic had other ideas. He took the car and went on a joyride. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. An hour later, and we hear the Ferrari in the alleyway, so we open the door and let him in. And he covered the car immediately. <laughs> Then, 10 minutes later, we hear sirens and see four cop cars racing by. This man had tried to race a guy in front of a cop and got away. It was doing so good. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. You don't fix them. I know you got this. Oh, <laughs> he got caught when my boss reviewed the cameras. Instantly fired. <laughs> oh, come on! He did something cool. How dare he fire him for being based? We know the type of people that buy those type of cars, anyway. Well, actually, it depends. There's some very nice car enthusiasts. <laughs> okay, now it's time to read what the other people have to say. <laughs> Purp warning. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Your poor ears. Mm. 
Now I gotta be carried away there. I need to bite that hide. <laughs> A new guy came into work, hammered out of his mind, and started trying to operate a forklift. <laughs> Look, it's cool, it's cool. He has a permit. It's fine. In front of the regional safety manager, a lot of forklift, forklift certified and right in front of my OSHA handbook memes were shared that day. <laughs> right in front of my OSHA book. <clears throat> Work was caught playing World of Warcraft for hours each day? What's wrong with that? Puss called him in and told him that was wholly unacceptable and he had to stop immediately or be canned. Less than an hour later, IT calls the same boss and says the guy is back in his office playing again. He was let go of that day. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He was just addicted. I don't know how how entertaining World of Warcraft World of Warcraft is, but I'm guessing he just had a really fucking boring job. And also what is the problem? If he's actually performing, I don't see any complaints about his performance. I mean, I don't know the entire context of the story, but I believe in letting good workers work and go home, okay? If they are doing their job in a professional and acceptable manner, you know, why not let them be on their phone sometimes? Why not let them play a fucking game on the side? I don't see anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, <mom. laughs> but if he he is using work time and underperforming, not doing his job. Then I totally get it. Yeah, get rid of them. But I don't, I don't think people should be punished for being a, like trying to entertain themselves at work when they're having a slow day or you know nothing else to do. You're just paying them to sit around at that point. You know, like you want them to just fucking stare at a wall. Again, I'm just talking about like an instance where this guy is actually performing and doing his job. If he's not, it's a completely different deal, but... For the most part, I never understood people that micromanage like that. <laughs> I do have a good talk. <clears throat> they say play a game and overperform. <laughs> Who would play Judy on the job next week? <laughs> to come kill time. I miss playing Yu Gi Oh! I haven't played in a while. Last time I played with my friends, they did not go easy on me. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> they watched me in, in like a, in two moves. <laughs> They're so annoying when they do that. <laughs> I, I'm not as good as I used to be. I'm not good at all, actually, so it's not even a huge brag to be able to beat me on Jokyo card games. Pfft. A bunch of nerds, that's what they are. <laughs> I will make you hate me. Yeah, I, I probably, if you are anything like the people I played against, and then by the second move, you're doing like four different things <laughs> and taking all of my points. You're a fucking menace. And 
I hate you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you guys, but uh, you can be really annoying sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Not that I've ever annoyed you guys, right? Right? You guys like me pestering you around and being close like this? Ow. Ow. Lucy, they're all welcome. Welcome. Just made my day hot and I say, I'm glad. The world is already hard enough as it is, so I'm glad that we can spend time together and enjoy it. And just kind of forget about the world outside. <laughs> At least for a little bit. I wanna bring that competitive dog out of you. It's hot. <laughs> I am very competitive sometimes. We should, uh, I you still want to do more game nights. It's been a while since we played games together. I'm gonna try to make time for it this week on the Psycon. It's what? This weekend will be the 15? When is the, 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 um, the, the event in Scotland? Da da, tonight's castle clash. Castle clash, we're in the stack. Da da da. Clash of the castle is Saturday? Oh, this Saturday. It's gonna be streamed on Peacock. Oh, if people wanna come watch this together, oh, I could probably stream it. Oh, or UFC. Oh, that too. Oh, but what time are they gonna like? Are they going to like uh, cross times? I hope they're not within the same time slots. If not, that's okay. I'll just catch up to you, I'll see. I can't miss this. What time is in EST? It's... let me see. I was reading an article about it, but I don't see any times listed. Times. Oh! It's at 2pm ET. Same time, right? <laughs> it is, yeah, it is the same time. It's 10. It's 10 p.m. Yeah. Um. Purely for good reason, same question. What? <laughs> I forgot what even was the question. Wait, 10 p.m. EST? Yeah, I think it's 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Wait, wait a minute! No, 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 no! It's 10 p.m. No, wait! No, 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 don't get confused! I'm sorry, I gave you wrong information. <laughs> I gave you wrong information! No, 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 no. It's going to start at 2 p.m. <laughs> For sure. Uh, WWE Clash of the Castle will be at 2 p.m. on Saturday. It will stream on Peacock. Mm, yeah. The match lineup is Bianca, Jade Cargill, Sami Zayn, Chad Gable, Bailey, Piper. 
Cody versus AJ for undisputed WWE Championship. Then we have Damon Priest versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. Do you think Drew is gonna take the belt back? I don't know. I want him to, but it might not happen. He hasn't. Demon hasn't held it for long, but also I feel like. I feel like he kind of like. He, his time is over too. Sorry to say. If there's any Damien fans in here, I, I'd much rather have. I think Drew deserves the belt. I, <laughs> I want him to have the belt. Wow. I am Mission Mayhem's child of my Yeah. Seven for UFC on the 15th, so we're fine. Even after that, it's the 22nd. <gasps> Hell yeah, we can watch both. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to stream both, but I'll let you guys know. I want to play games. Tell me about something. It's been a while since we spent time with the Discord. <laughs> I, and it sets up Drew versus Punk at SummerSlam? Yeah. It probably- it will probably happen. That'll be cool to see. Oh, we got a little bit sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna continue reading these, uh, firing stories. But, I'm uh, also gonna get mentally prepared to say goodbye. I still gotta make dinner. I'm making suppers, chat. I'm making this. Hold on. They look like this. They are a fried corn tortilla with refried beans topped with uh, usually like mm, this type of cheese. It's not like feta cheese. It kind of has the same consistency, but it's not the same taste. This this cheese is way better. Um, so it's loaded with beans, veggies, usually avocado, onions, uh, tomatoes, or radishes. Mm. Mine are going to be uh, actually pretty similar to these. Mine are going to be beans, uh, lettuce, maybe avocado. If my avocados are okay. And shredded chicken on top. I'm gonna season the shredded chicken with some taco seasoning. It's gonna be good. Um, but I really want to do a say to us fine too. Just happy to be here with ya. Yeah, I'm happy just talking about it even. Cause I know not everyone could. It, UFC events are really long. <laughs> So I know not everyone will probably watch the entirety of it, but I get so invested when I do have the time to sit down and watch it. I love it. Um, I'll save you guys a sleepy. Of course. Um, I hope my green salsa is still good. I made it almost a week ago. Um, it usually has a good life like shelf life but um I don't know it's been ah, it's been really hot in this house and I feel like when it when it, it is super hot even stuff in the in the fridge go bad sooner because it's just hot <clears throat> uh, okay the first day and her grandmother died understandable second day her car broke down bad luck third day she had no electricity and couldn't blow dry her hair she was told to not bother coming in at all okay okay I think this is just a case of a bad liar. 
she's using like all the excuses to call out of work in the book in one week she must have hated this environment and maybe she was too shy to quit i don't know like come on the grandmother dying then the car broke down the second day and now there's no electricity forget about blow drying your hair if you need to work and make money the fucking hair will dry on the way to work that's not like a super huge issue at that point you're just making excuses not to come in the grandmother bit i get and i think honestly if they were a better liar they could have just drag the grandmother bit for the entire day of the week if they wanted to quit or not come into work they could have just been like yeah my grandmother died i need some time to grieve be with my family uh there's going to be you know service um so i'm going to be busy with those plans you know stuff like that but to say your grandmother died one day and then your car broke down the next That's just, dude, you're making stuff up. <laughs> and it could be, it, it could be that she has the worst luck in the world, but the bit about the dryer, the blow dryer, that's what I don't buy. At that point, you just don't want to go to work. <laughs> See, toy. My dog ate my homework, can't come in today for a week. <laughs> mm, if you guys need any proof, I will make a video statement. <laughs> I'll take the ball. Yeah, that doesn't seem right, yeah. Don't wanna Peach feel like they gotta be there, you know? Not that anyone would. <laughs> Just yapping. Yeah, I get that. I, um, um, even though it is the doghouse and it's like my second home, I still feel really shy. Uh, sometimes pinging you guys or asking people to spend time with me or watch things with me. That's what I did after my granddad passed. I took the rest of the week off. Yeah, that's what a normal person would do. No one's going to be like, my grandma died and then say i'm okay to work the next day and then th when the next day comes have a different excuse to why you don't want to go to work or can't go to work <clears throat> you can always be <laughs> i will i will i will do my best to shake it off and bother you guys my <laughs> mm -mm. she should have just mm. she got fired for a good reason this one I don't even I don't even blame the employee uh, came two hours late didn't do any actual work and then asked how long he has to keep doing tasks below his qualifications so he got fired for that it just sounded like they really didn't want to be there there's just a shit ton of irrelevant stories under it what is OP doing? These comments are all over the place. They're worse than my ADHD. <laughs> he can always bother me. <laughs> I have absolutely nothing better to do. Uh, you guys say that, and then when I get crazy and clingy, you abandon me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I won't do that. I wouldn't. I won't become crazy and clingy with you guys. That's why you're a collective. Mm -hmm. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Please like suck on Thomas to watch the dog. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> But I will, uh, it jokes aside, I will, I will do my best to bother you guys to have fun and pick you. I know I said that last time, but I do get shy. I don't know why. Cause we, we talk so normally here. So. I don't know, I don't know what I'm, I'm scared of. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I love It's my first job to inform Puffy anything important. Oh shit, boss. <laughs> I am a fan of the shit boss. I have more to show you guys, but I'm getting really hungry. Let me... Let me get this out of the way. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to hotbox the room, did I? Live off you guys' attention and head pads, I would stream longer <laughs> most of the time. Oh, you do if you're comfortable, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, I won't. I will. I don't force myself to do stuff that I don't like. You guys know that. Shirt. What? Already? What the heck? That's so fast. Can I show it in chat? It's inappropriate. Even just looking at my drawing now, but your oh, your style is so cute. I love your recent works. Mm, I'm not sure if that's your character or commission, but the the girl with the fishing hat and the baseball mid. I really like that picture. It has cool colors. Um, the pulse is very dynamic. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna poop. <laughs> um, powered by Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, <this is> so <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for the art. <laughs> I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm gonna post them in my my main not safe for work maybe or my regular be the word total we'll see <laughs> i really appreciate it if they're really cute oh and your oc is so nice oh they're so cute mm, i see we have similar styles cute color Mm, yeah, nice piercings. And I have a fan of fish nut tops. Mm. I could fix it a bit, but then if you wanna actually post it. <laughs> yeah, but don't feel rushed though. Nah. Mm. Take your time. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. Wow. I love their style, right? Chat? Mm. Nickel Man. Welcome. Welcome. That's so cute. 
good fella. I'm so cold. Do I have to eat? I'm hungry. I'm so hungry, actually. <laughs> oh, pretty lady. Can't you like on your knees? No, get up. Mm. I don't want you hurting your knees. I'm good on my knees, though. Mm. Here, I'll get on my knees so you don't have to. How's that? I think you guys could hear that with my mic. Hold on. There's a group of cats fighting outside of my window. <laughs> There's a group of cats fighting outside of my window. They're being so fucking loud. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> really funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's freaking cats. They scare the crap out of me sometimes because they'll be fighting at unholy hours, like 2 3 a.m. So I'll be getting water in the middle of the night and just hear... I'm not good at... I'm not good at meowing. <laughs> I'm a dog, okay? But... window with me. Actually, let me open the window see if you guys can hear it better. take you guys very far. <laughs> but I did open my window so maybe you can hear it. You can hear them when they get loud. <laughs> okay, okay. I... <laughs> I've been procrastinating saying goodbye but... <laughs> Without further ado... Here's our farewell bonk head. <laughs> come here, chat. Shuck on this with me. Come here, come here. Wait, also? Oh, also before we leave, I totally, totally recommend Sir's new album. It is so fucking good. You should not sleep on Sir. <clears throat> that last album he put out, it's so good. I, I barely skip any of the songs in that album. <clears throat> I'm not going to shut up about this. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I dropped it in the music section on the Discord if anyone is curious. I just remember that because I, I wanted to play something while we say bye. <clears throat> okay. Leave your window open for me later. I need a late night snack. <laughs> yeah. mm, yes, I. Puppy, hi, welcome, and also, bye. Sorry if you, some of you guys just got here. I, I'm saying goodbye. I'm hungry. 
need to go eat but I had a really good time thanks for hanging out with me Chad <coughs> cheers cheers to today wow Have a good rest of your day or night. Ah. Oh. 